today I'm going to teach you the most important things you need to know about photographing a bride getting into her wedding dress before you shoot your first ever wedding day. Hey there, I'm Caitlin. Welcome to my YouTube channel. This is a place where we like to empower photographers to build both profitable and purposeful businesses while also letting you in on the behind the scenes of our day-to-day -day life. So today we're starting a new series, Wedding Day 101. We are teaching you how to approach your first ever wedding. And we're gonna break down different parts of the wedding day bit by bit and explain to you things that we wish we had known, things that I wish I had known when I was first starting out. So we're gonna keep it super simple. I'm gonna share three of the most important tips that are gonna empower you to have fine success in every single part of the wedding day. We're also gonna be sharing some behind the scenes clips so that you can see these practical tips actually in action on real wedding days. So the first part of the day that we're gonna start with is the bride getting into her dress. Tip number one is to find full length light. So this is the most important thing, like more important than anything else. You need to find, first of all, natural light. Like we're not talking about light from like an overhead can light or a, a lamp. We're talking natural light from a window or from a door. Natural light that needs to expose from the top of the bride's head all the way to the bottom of the dress. If you have a light source that is gonna stop right at her waist, that it's gonna be an editing nightmare. So you want the whole thing to be properly exposed and evenly exposed. So this brings me to kind of like a secondary tip in this first tip is that you can go anywhere to find this type of light. You don't have to stay stuck right in the room where she's getting ready, where bridesmaids, what other bridal party members, where they're all getting married. You don't have to stay there. You can find other options. I would recommend seeking out full length light no matter where it is, have the bride get into her dress, cover up, make sure nothing's showing, and then walk out to a location with full length light, great natural light, and photograph the rest of the getting ready shots in that location. So just remember this, light matters more than anything. If you do not have good light, you will not have good images. That trumps any other decision. So let's take a look and see how this practically unfolds on a real wedding day. What we'll do is, you'll probably stand like right about here. Someone else can probably get it down. Probably gonna leave this open if that's okay. We'll put you right in front of this post. Yes. Nope, not yet, you're good. So once she's like, and if y'all want, come on over. Literally, Megan can stand like right where my feet are, even though you're not fixed yet. This is part of the process. Yeah. So put your feet facing the road that way. There we go. Perfect. Oh, this is going to be beautiful. I might actually have y'all back up like two feet, if that's okay. And we'll open this as much as we can. Sorry, Sorry Mama. Oh, there we go. Oh my gosh, Megan, this is happening. Tip number two, you either need a lens that is wide enough or a room that is big enough to be able to back up and photograph the entire dress. Uh, there's nothing scarier or more or more panicky than starting to photograph a bride, getting into the dress, and, and you're photographing like, oh, she looks great, like her earrings or whatever, and then you realize, I can't get far enough back to get the whole thing. You know, that is terrifying because you don't want to stop the moment and mess up the whole experience. You got to think about this stuff beforehand. So a safe focal length that I like to use for this part of the day would be like a 35 millimeter prime lens. That's great. Right now I'm using the 28 to 72 2.0 lens, but I normally, I'm not normally shooting at 28. I normally stay around the 30 range just because I don't want to get too close to having distortion on the edges. So if you only have like a 50 millimeter lens, that could work. It's not that that can't work. You don't have to have a 35 millimeter lens for this part of the day. I'm just saying you have to be able to fit in the entire person, the entire dress um, in this shot. So if you have a 50 millimeter, just make sure that you are set up well to be able to back up far enough, clear some furniture, set people to the sides so that you have distance to be able to capture the full length shot of the dress. Tip number three, this is super important. Do not be afraid to take control. What you may not realize if you've never photographed a wedding is that the majority of the shots that you see from photographers on wedding days, while this not, might not apply to every single person, it definitely applies to a lot of our students and definitely to me, I'm in control of a lot of this part of the day. I let the natural part of getting in the dress and the emotion and the connection with parents or um, maid of honor, whoever, I let that unfold. But then when it's appropriate, I step in and I start directing because remember, these people have no idea what they want. One of the greatest mistakes I see brand new photographers make is that they photograph a wedding day and they think like, well, that's just how it happened. Like I have no control. And the truth is you do have control. When these moments happen, you're like, oh, everyone's in bad light. Um, okay, that's just what they did. I, I can't change anything. You you can change something. And I actually think it's part of your job to change something. And so even when I'm allowing something to unfold naturally, I normally try to set up, if I can, set up the moment in 
good natural light and then just let them be free. When the bride's getting into the dress, I highly recommend setting her up. Say, okay, we're gonna do it right here. We're gonna have some bridesmaids around her. And then you let mom or maid of honor, whoever wants to help her, and you start getting into the dress and you step back, you let it happen. It's beautiful, you're, you're encouraging them. But then once some of the initial like zip of the dress has happened, then you start to direct things and take control so you can get those shots that they are expecting you to get. So even if you are inexperienced, even if you have never done this before and you are brand new, this is my um, this is my permission to you to step in and change something if you see something that is not going well. You might think like, I don't know what I'm doing. It's my first wedding. Like I can't tell them what to do. Yes, you can. It's part of your job. No one needs to know that you're not really confident. No one needs to know that you're unsure of yourself. You can do this and you have permission to step in and make a change for the sake of your ultimate client experience, which is delivering a beautiful gallery that's what they are expecting, what they desire. So I don't wanna just leave you hanging with this tip. I want you to see what this practically looks like um, executed on a real wedding day. So I'm gonna show you a clip um, from behind the scenes of uh, me managing and stepping in a little bit on a wedding day, but I want you to pay attention to a few things. What am I fixing? What am I correcting? How do I sound? Um, what do I step in? What do I say? What am I trying to change overall? Um, am I being pushy? No, but am I being direct? Yes. So pay attention to all these things so that at your wedding day, you can feel confident stepping in when it's appropriate and making changes that need to be made. Why, if it's okay, let's have a heavy twist towards me and mom twist as well a little bit. There you go. Oh my gosh. Wow. Oh, Abby. Oh, just, you're just, you're just doing your job. And everyone, I always tell people smile, even though you're concentrating. Yeah. Abby, you can smile at the window. You, this is happening. Wow, mom, you were smiling at her a little bit, looking up at her face for a second. Yes, poor. Oh, that was perfect. You are stunning. This is one of my favorite dresses I've had okay, in years. Really in good. years. She's probably seen a lot. No, this is. Li oh, it's so unique and so classic. Oh my gosh. Okay, Abby, smile out the window for me one more time. Just looking right out there. Gorgeous. <laughs> Perfect. Oh, wow. And act like you can just like, act like you're checking back, looking a little further back at mom. Mom's smiling at you. Gorgeous. Oh, wow. You know what guys, stay like you are. Ty, do you mind um, stepping out this way? You just don't worry, no one can see you this way. I'm just taking a wide shot, okay. Sorry, Ty. Don't worry, I won't see what's in the background. Abby, yeah, keep looking straight ahead, Abby. Maybe look down over your right shoulder for one. Wow, oh wow. Stuff in the background. And I need my sleeves buttoned. Yeah. Well, we will worry about finding this possible. Why did someone say deodorant? This is beautiful. Oh, Abby, stay like that. Keep looking down like you were. Wow, hold on, I'm almost there. Go ahead and look over your right shoulder. And then look down again like you did before, yep. So we hope this was helpful. We're super excited to keep adding to this collection of um, episodes that are taking you through different parts of the wedding day and empowering you to feel um, more professional and more prepared as you begin your journey into becoming a wedding photographer. So be sure to watch the playlist. We're going to add more videos as we continue onto this series. We want to hear your feedback. We want to hear what you want to hear about. So what parts of the day do you find yourself worrying about the most? What parts of the day can we help you with? Leave that in the comments below. If you enjoyed watching me photograph uh, these little snippets of wedding days, I hope you know, like you can watch me photograph literally dozens of full length weddings. I have a whole membership dedicated to helping photographers feel empowered by allowing them to learn from me behind the scenes. KJ All Access offers photographers that opportunity. So if you're not ready to dive into the KJ All Access membership, even though there is a free trial linked below, you might be ready to be a part of our community. It's free, it's full of thousands, 13,000 plus photographers who are in your same season of life. You can encourage one another, help one another. And quite honestly, we're in there every day and I'd love to connect with you there. So that is linked below as well. Um, so thanks for tuning in. I'm glad you watched. I will see you next time. Be sure to stay tuned because we're gonna have more episodes coming to the series. There's a lot more of the wedding day that is coming your way. Bye. 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 Bye, see ya. <laughs> bye. I love you, bye. Love you, bye.